Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. If you're back in school, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you just a few tips and tricks. I wouldn't even call them hacks. They're just tips that I have come to know help me out at the beginning of the school year, just so that, you know, I know it's busy and crazy already. And it, these are just things to kind of help the craziness kind of ease down and, you know, give yourself a chance to breathe and get your, your um, school year rolling. So without further ado, I'll show you that in a second. Stay with me. So my plan is to kind of take you around the room and stopping at various points and spots where I've either done something or my students have done something to kind of help us get the school year rolling and like we always do, you know, if it's a cool idea, take it. If not, shh, don't do it. So let's go. One of the first things I have my students do right as we start to get our robots going on in our classroom is to bring in shoe boxes. That way we have a home and a place for the robot. So we're still looking for donation boxes for students to bring in. You know, if they've already brought in one, maybe they can bring in some more. So other teams can um, have a home for their robot here. So this is the period six parking lot. And the reason I prefer it to be in a shoe box, let's say a piece fell off of this robot. We really wouldn't know if it belonged to this robot or this robot here. But if it's in a shoe box and something falls off, then we know who it belongs to. And it's just a nice place to have everything organized. So if this team had a look, some attachments or things they wanted to have on their robot, they could not worry necessarily about it getting lost or you know anything like that, where it just has a home. So these are basically little parking stalls for the robot, these shoe boxes. Let's move on. I make it a point early in the year for students to just check the floor because you, the, those of you that teach robotics, just know that pieces always fall on the floor. But rather than bringing it to me, um, I just have drop-off spots in the room. So if students find things on the floor, I just tell them, hey, put it in the drop-off spot if we just don't know who it belongs to. And then, you know, at the end of the week, I can have some students organize them back into the cabinets here. But this way, I just don't have to deal. Every time somebody finds a piece, I don't have to have them bring it to me. Let's keep moving. Okay, so I have um, charging stations around the room. So there's a charging station there. There's another one here. There's another one over there. So students just know that if they need to have the robot charged, they don't need to ask. They just bring it to a charging station, show their responsibility that it was low and they don't want to run out of battery for the next day. So they just end up charging it. If we run out of space, I just give them permission to unplug somebody else's robot here and then plug it into theirs. And then, you know, I just tell them, hey, let your partner know that it is charging because the next day we want to know that it's here and not back into the parking lot. I know I've shown you this before in previous videos, but maybe those of you that are new to my channel haven't seen these. These save my life every day. So if students are going through their kit and realize that they have um, missing pieces, so I have this piece map here so they know exactly how many they're supposed to have. This is golden too because if somebody says they're missing something and they can't explain what it is, they can just kind of point and go, I need, you know, I need one of this, I need one of that. So they can point and then they don't have to go very far. If they're missing anything, they can just come over here and I have these drawers identified with the piece that it is, how many they're supposed to have. And if they need that piece, they can just take the extras. I found myself a key. So that's the organization system that I have here. And um, I basically tell students, hey, you know what? I trust you. If you know you're missing it, if it's a broken piece, throw it away and then just replace it with um, whatever they might need. So last week I showed you the booklet, um, programming checkpoints. So basically what I do is I have charts and I will show what page 
um, the students are supposed to get done. So they'll come and see me, and when I see those checkpoints getting done, I'll basically give the team a star, and they're able to go in and put that star um, where they got that checkpoint from. So it shows me and it shows them progress. It shows them where they're at, you know, as compared to the class. But it also kind of shows, like right here, this team just, you know, if they forgot what they're working on, they can come to the chart and just know exactly where they left off from the previous day. So this chart is, is just very informative and it also helps me to put in their grades for you know items that got finished. Another thing I do is I always will charge extra batteries just because it's the beginning of the year and students are not used to checking their battery. So if a team you know fails to charge their battery, I always have backups. And these robots are super easy to trade out the battery for. Obviously, with you know a different robot, this might be a little tougher thing, but um, it's already happened twice already where a team said they forgot to charge their battery. I basically said, okay, we'll swap, and you know they just cha changed it out in a matter of minutes, and they didn't have to just sit around all period waiting for the robot to charge. Okay, guys, so there you have it. Um, there's more things I'll do as the weeks come up, but just to get the school year started, those are the kind of things I just have to have in place and I can just imagine what my life is like during the day if I didn't have all those things I everything else that's going crazy at the beginning of the school year it would just be magnified if I didn't have just those certain things in place so I'm just showing you um, kind of the things that I set up set around the room just to get my life in order and you can take or leave whatever you want so hopefully this was helpful for those of you that are just starting off doing robotics and you're just kind of saying, hey, what are there some are there some things I can do to kind of get my year rolling and and you know maybe to avoid pulling your hair out? Hopefully this helps. Okay, guys, I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm out.